Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. We are working on episode three of Tina's challenge over at Shabby Dabby Duda called Tag Tastic. And today we're making hidden tags. Um, I have already made one because I felt like I needed to. It's actually not the tag that's hidden, sorry. It's the um, hidden pocket, hidden journaling spot. So I put in a partial three by five index card for writing on, and then it tucks back in here. My index cards aren't very thick, so it's a little fiddly, but there's my summer tag. I finally made something um, summery, I guess. <laughs> and then I glued the back to some marbled um, cardstock paper. So let's make one, shall we? So I decided that they should be kind of wide because you want the index card to fit widthwise. I did cut mine down a little bit, but I thought that would not be necessary. So I have some fronts that I chose from some of the papers that I had. This one I thought I could use the same for the front and the back. And that would work, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll do that one first. So I did watch Tina's video. And I found it a little complicated, the way she explained it. And then I started reading some of the comments. And from the comments, I thought I would try one of the things they said to do. So let's see if that works for the second time around here as well. So what they said was to cut the front and the back and then glue the two pieces together just around the edges. So I'm just going to do a very thin line of glue. And I didn't get it quite as close to the edge as I wanted over here. That may impact my paper later. Hopefully it won't be too bad. So then I tried to line up the pages again, or the pieces. I'm going to ink these so if they're not perfect, it's not too bad. Alright, so we give that a little minute to bond. Okay, then I'm going to go to another one. And for this one, I'm just going to back it with a creamy colored cardstock. And then I'm just going to trim it out. And it moved on me a little. So how are you guys doing? Are you taking part in this challenge as well? Um, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with how it's working out so far because I'm getting a lot of things made that I normally might not be making. So... Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, so hope you guys give it a try as well. And anybody else that's doing the challenge that doesn't usually watch this channel, I welcome you and uh, thanks for tuning in. Again, thanks to Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda for putting this on because it's takes quite a bit of time to come up with these things. 
Okay, so this is going to be another. Let's put that over there. All right, going to try and stay a little closer to the edge on this one. So the size I made my tags was roughly six inches tall and at least three and a half inches wide. And that's because, again, you need room for the, for the paper inside, even if you choose something else other than a three by five index card, you're going to want it to be um, having room in there. And you're going to want to put at least, you know, something substantial in there to actually write on. Otherwise, the whole thing really, well, to me, it wouldn't really make much sense. Go to all that work and then not really have something to write on. Unless, of course, you hide something else. And, of course, you could totally do that. All right, so for every one of these I make, I'm going to have to decorate them so... I think I'm going to do one more, and that will be this one, and for this one I'm going to back it with a uh, craft card. I didn't have the nice paper tin I used, so I'm, I'm using what I have. She had some really pretty um, craft colored scrap of paper. And I could have stamped mine and kind of imitated it, but okay, I think that way is up. I'm just going to trim it a little bit here because it's a little bit off already. finish trimming it later if we need to. So for the, I'm angling these because I found that it helps when I go to put the index paper in. It gives me a guide to how far they want to go. Like that's why I said six inches instead of five inches high. glue this one down and then I'll start decorating and doing the hidden part and again I have to remember to keep as close to the edge as possible without you know squirting the glue everywhere outside So oh yeah, my last two videos were kind of long and I found I had to edit a lot out. So I thought if I did a little prep work, maybe um, the videos could be a little shorter and you could still um, get some ideas. Um, one thing Tina did say was that any paper with a large picture on it would work and I guess I did try to stick with that. Um, it wouldn't have to be but I think it's easier to decorate them in the end or at the end. Alright so then we need the hole. And I'm getting trying to get my holes be to, like halfway about that angle there, and of course centered. And then I'm going to ink them all, and I will fast forward that, and then I will be back. So then I have inked them, and I have uh, rounded the corners at the bottom just because that's what I want to do. All right, so then comes the almost scary part. You have to cut into 
probably about a third from the top. So there's that one. I'm just going to do one at a time for now. So I have these um, index cards and I did coffee dye them and the ink ran everywhere. So these are definitely grungy. So I can't find my clean ones right now so I couldn't use those. Okay, so this one I got wide enough so I don't have to trim it down. And then let's see how how far up I need it to be. So I'm just going to slip it in here. Oh, that's much easier to put in there too. So there, that fits. So I'm just going to hold that roughly there. And then I'm going to put a little glue just inside to hold that down. I want to be careful here too that not too much squishes out. Otherwise, when you put it together, it'll stick together. And I'm going to put some on the back as well. In the back. And that is pretty much it. So thank you to the people who commented because um, I just found this. Once I tried it and did it this way, I just, okay, it's like threading a needle almost. You almost need one of those pocket indicators so you can slide that in there better. And two, I was thinking of inking that, but then I thought, oh, that's going to wreck the flow of the picture. Okay, so that's one. Then we'll do the same thing with this one. I'm going to slice right up the mushroom there. And let's see if this will... be as nice. So far, it's alright. I think it might be a little too large. Because this one is narrower. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut this one a little. I'm just going to cut that top. I didn't really want to make them so wide because if I decide to put it in a pocket Sorry, if I decide to put it in a pocket in one of my journals, uh, my pockets usually aren't that wide, so. And then I thought, well, I could always paper clip it in, so. So yeah, this one here is kind of ideal to my, and it's almost like four inches wide, so. This one is three and a half, but then you have to factor in the glue on the side, so. All right, so that works, and then I didn't glue that yet, so I will do that. Yeah, so these are fun, especially if you have like, I don't know, I think it's kind of fun when, when the um, place where you cut it is kind of 
at a pivotal spot like um, like here if it had been just one mushroom and it had been right there I think that would have been cool here it's right on the line of the wood paneling join there so that's kind of cool and um, okay so that's the second one and then I'll show you one more just at the top third somewhere I try to make it a straight line but hey no guarantees okay so then and to what I was thinking it might be easier if we rounded the corners on here as well Again, it's a little narrow, so I will trim that. This quarter of an inch seems to really make a difference, so. Like I said, this uh, angle here prevents the card from going all the way up into where that hole is, which is nice because you don't necessarily want it showing. And this one looks like it may be not tall enough. Alright, so what I'm going to do is shorten it a little bit. That's alright. It'll work. I like to have it kind of straight in there. nice to know that you can fiddle around with them a little bit and still make it work if it looks like it didn't work at first. So I'm not putting very much glue in there, just, just a little. there. So now then all we have to do is decorate. And so I was thinking maybe some lace. This one would probably work on all of them. Alright, let's give it a shot here. Putting a line of a little a small line of glue and then just scrunching the lace into the glue. Pretty sure I've seen Tina do that. Takes up a little bit more lace, but it gives you that um, ruffled look, which is nice. Okay, I think that's good for that one. Oh, maybe not. Looks like it needs just a little more.
Okay, there it goes. Okay, so that's that section. And then, what else? I have some leftover papers here. I have this um, book page that I was using for inking something. I thought, what if it, it could make like a semi-label or something. Like maybe right there. I think I'll put that there. And then I think I'm going to add maybe a butterfly to this one. That's right on the join. That's good. I will not impede anything. Okay, I settled on this one. It's not pink. It's orange and brown and has a little gold in it. And I'm going to give it a little 3D thing here. It's actually not 3D, but if we don't glue the whole thing down, it'll look 3D. Just gluing the middle down. All right, now we need something for the top. This kind of looks like a gray, doesn't it? Let me see if I have some. going to um, cut those ends off a little. That'll be my substitute for sorry silk since I don't have any. All right. So then maybe a little glue over here, hold that one up, a little glue in there, hold that side up. I guess I could have put a knot in it, I didn't actually think of that. Oh well, maybe next time I'll think of it. It's still nice, right? Hopefully. Okay. I actually like that as the label. I was thinking I might do the same thing over here. And what if I did it like on the side? If I did like half. Does it need some lace too? I have these tickets. Like that. Then what would we put on top? I know, I came across this bug while I was looking for a butterfly. It was kind of small. Okay, this one will work. It's a ladybug. It's a little too white, so I will dirty it up some. There we go. 
then which side do I want it on? Somehow I think it works better on that side. There, now I'm not always using just butterflies because I have other bugs. <laughs> All right, so then I need something for there yet. I think I will use this other one now that I have a way to use it. Okay, this one's thinner, so it should fit in there better. This one has like a leaf motif going here, so. Let's make a loop. Two loops, like tying a shoelace. Like so. Again, I'm going to do the ends like a ribbon. Okay, like that. Like I said, I'm doing things in this challenge that I don't normally do. And I'm finding that it's a lot of fun to make things that are different because I don't know about you but I tend to get into a rut okay so this one what shall we do that lace I just used actually looks dirty next to that one I wonder if this would be one of the times where it would be okay to use white lace I ask because I tried coffee dyeing some lace and it totally did not work. Let's see. I kind of don't like that. Can I cut it? What if I cut it in half? And then just did that. I think cutting lace is one of the things that I learned from Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda because, um, you know, um, <laughs> it's just not something I felt comfortable doing. So, and then I think the white bow on top would look okay. And then maybe, again, another butterfly. Maybe something brown. Stand out. I could do like a label over here and then put that there yeah I'm gonna do that okay ah, seem to be out of hot glue here do I'm trying to hurry so if it's 
seeming like I'm impatient. I, re I realize people's time is precious, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. Okay, I'm just going to give that a little edge here. Oh, that'll be nice. It'll make it stand out a little more. Okay, done with that. Okay, so then... that there. I'll have to trim it, but that's okay. I did want it right on the edge. Like so. And then I can just tip, snip that off there. And then that little guy can go there. And I'll glue him down a bit more this time. There. Do I need something down there yet? Some bling. That would work. How far? Halfway? Not quite halfway. There, something like that. All right, then just have to clean it up a little here. Okay, so we did quite a few. That helps, I think, to get things prepared ahead of time so all right and then the one I made before okay so that looks a little seasonal but not bad and that white actually works I didn't think I was gonna have the opportunity to use white and junk journaling but I'm gonna go with it so, anyways, thanks for joining me today, and uh, we'll see you again another time. Bye for now.